Yeah. Yeah, I'm Miss Jones, but I think I should make it a thing. The Miss Jones. The Miss Jones. Because I know that's your Twitter handle. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm the actual V. <laughs> the actual V. Yeah. 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 And uh, this is the only lady on the lineup tonight DJing right here at night. How was your set? Uh, I'd say it went pretty well. I was doing a 9 to 10. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's kind of your introductory set. Yeah. So you're kind of escorting uh, the, the, the listeners and the audience in. Yeah. It, was, it was pretty okay. I'm yeah. not going to lie because I played uh, somewhat soulful and uh, dance music at the same time. Classics as well. I would say pretty well, pretty good. Okay. And did you bring your fans with you? Yeah, man. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? No, no, no. no, because you need that support structure, man. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's it's always they're there and I just like seeing them on stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I like seeing them on stage, so it makes sense. Okay, no, no, that's fine. Is there a particular act that you are looking forward to tonight? That I am not looking forward that to. That you are looking, are looking forward to. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I would say that I'm looking forward to each and every one of them. Yeah. Uh, because. All of these people I, uh, I, I know and I work with and essentially I would say that they bring something new to every time. So I wouldn't say that I have a specific particular act that I'm specifically looking forward to. So I'm, I'm actually excited about each and every one of them. I'm very excited. No lies. No lies. Okay. <laughs> Just so you know our watchers, our listeners out there, when can, where can they you know, get your stuff and where can they follow you? Oh, okay. So you can go on ahead and hit me up on Twitter. That's at the underscore stones. Uh, and then on SoundCloud as well. I just post my mixes there as well as uh, uh, various clips of interviews that I do on my show, which is on Wednesdays, uh, 6 to 9. No, 7 to 9 p.m. And it's all about house music. So you can catch me on my SoundCloud at the underscore stones. And also on my show, all about house music, Mix Love 4 Beats, 7 to 9 p.m. every Wednesday. Night groups, it's well underway, and it's uh, you know, and from the south outside, it's it's a thriving party to say the least. And you know, one of the reasons why it's thriving the way it is is uh, you know, our man here, Selector Curtis B. How are you, Curtis? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Ah, no, I'm doing all right. Today, you're doing something different, you weren't really playing your usual Niger and dance. Yeah, well, you know, you always have to catch up on the crowd, yeah, and see how things are going. So, I played a bit of hip hop, yeah, and a bit of dance. Yeah, how, how was that? Uh, it was a bit interesting, you know, trying to play some of the old school tracks that people don't know about, yeah. but they sang to and grew up to, so yeah, it was good. Okay, it was good. and uh, are people receptive? Are they, yeah, do you feel like it was, it was quite good? I enjoyed my set, so yeah. I think I got a good reception, so yeah, it was a good night. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay, that, that's cool. One more question is who are you looking forward to, you know, out of the lineup? Because you guys are a lot of. A lot on the lineup, but is there someone you're particularly looking forward to? Yeah, actually, there, there is a surprise for guys. There's a video mix tonight, so yeah. watch out for that. Okay. I wouldn't say who's going to do it, yeah. but just watch out. I okay. think that's what I'm looking forward to okay. because it's been a long time. Yeah. And for people that want to maybe follow you on Twitter, Facebook, want to get your mixes, that type of thing, wait. Well, I haven't been doing my mixes for quite a while, but I should be uploading a few very soon. Yeah. But I'm on Mixpad, Curtis B. Yeah. I'm on Twitter, Curtis B. Yeah. That's where you can find me. Yeah, in the round comes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, big shout out. This was our man, Selector Curtis B. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Dolly kept to Cairo, but to Dubai. Yike, he gets the Jacara Caliber of I. He convoy. I'm a It's your boy Mob Justice, LOTV, we're on Prime, and uh, we just came from having an electrifying performance, you know, from the boy Kid X. How are you, Kid X? I'm good, man. I'm just a bit pissed off, man. But oh, what's wrong? People don't understand. They nearly ripped my clothes off. <laughs> and some of them were niggas, it's not even mommy. It's not even niggas were not. Yeah. But it's cool, man. The crowd is pretty live. Yeah. Sure, you know, lots of love from the crowd. Crowd, you know, the energy out there, you know, it's important to feed off the crowd and give back as well as they give. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I feel it. Okay, so apart from the performance, it's just, you know, a couple of questions. You know, firstly, you know, you guys are cash time. You know, you guys are very famous for saying you're not rap, you're scum. What's a scum? <laughs> Funny enough, Skanda is actually a sub genre under, under rap, you know. I mean, it's still hip hop, but we do um, we've sort of coined the sound that fuses a whole lot of white or which is a South African sound, and we felt like we needed to craft the sound that you know, relates to the South African audience, you yeah. know, what we used to in the past, you know, mimicking exactly what was coming from the States, you know. Yeah. So Skanda is a mix of hip hop and Sort of a nostalgic white girl that really touched people from the yeah. Okay. So can we say this is sort of part of is this part of the new age white or movement? Uh oh, that's another movement. That's another movement. Yeah. So that's we can say this one, this is you guys are uh, on This is not even white, this is Kanda. You're on it, okay. Yes. Oh, that's cool. So in terms of music, I'm actually quite interested and I know people wanna know. Do you enjoy being in the studio or do you enjoy performing the song? I enjoy all of it. Yeah. Studio, obviously you never know what you've got until you perform it. You, know? yeah. you can sit in the studio all day and make songs until you expose them to the audience. Yeah. You never know, you know whether or not you've succeeded in what you've made in the studio. So yeah. it's a process. One leads to the other. So you kind of have to take it. Okay, okay. And uh, any highlights, what's going on in 2015? Anything we can look forward to, you know? Big fan base out there, you know, they want to know what, what to expect. Well, uh, short term, I just shot the video for Seven. It's coming out next week, so yeah. by the time That's this comes cool. out, this should be on the screen. So. Yeah. And then the album is definitely coming out as well. Yeah. Uh, my debut album is coming out. 2015 is probably the right time to bust out. So. Okay, what's the name of the album? Mm. Has, it, has, it, has, it, has it come out? <laughs> I've got a name, but I don't know, man. I feel like once I put it out there, then you're it's too official. Yeah. Because I might change it. Because the name I've got now, I actually might stumble across it this morning. Oh, okay. As I flew in, you know? and I had a name before, so I might okay. change even that name. Yeah. So, so it's that's basically fully official. It's still a process. Yeah. Okay. I think, you know, maybe a last one, you know, for people that want to, you know, follow you, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that, where can they get you? Uh, Facebook, there's a page out there, KidX, just go out there, like, uh, page, and then, uh, Twitter, KidX, essay, same thing as Okay, cool. Big shout out, thank you so much, and if you want to follow us again, we hope to see you back. I hope to be back here soon, man, the crowd is going live, man, Yeah, so yeah, that was KidX. Up in a couple of months or so. So you don't try to keep the video on the ground kind of thing. You know? So you 
always gotta know what's coming in next and stuff like that. The certain tracks that I'm playing now that's grown up in SA that I knew about last year. Kind of thing, you know? So it's all about introducing new songs. You can't play the same thing on radio and stuff. You gotta be able to say, listen, I'm DJ Banks and those tracks I'm about to play, it's gonna blow up in about a month or two. That's what brings me to DJ. Okay. So how do you do that whole thing? Because I, as in, I think the big thing is how do I identify that, okay, this one, it could be a banger in the next maybe two or three months. The thing is, you gotta have the ear, you know? You gotta have the ear and you must understand where is society at the moment, you know? What about trap music? What about, you know, you know, Dougie and Stanky like and the and stuff? So anything involving around that genre of coming music, you able to have that ear that this could have potential here. And also, it's both under the producer and the guys on the track. So, if for example, it's an upcoming rapper, but the producer is Mike Wall or Dr. Dre or Perth or Dawn or anyone with a, with a good background, you know that's going to be there. Maybe not in SA, but in your own, it's a big So, and, and with hip hop, is that certain songs that doesn't become a big track, a big a big hit the side, but in your own, it's a commercial track that's on the radio 24 7. Because one thing you gotta understand is that South Africa is a very, it's a house market. It's a house market. So when it comes to hip hop, we're very limited to how far we can go and stuff. Yeah. No, no, no. So, you know, tonight it's uh, G -G -G -H -T, the Graham song. Yeah. Uh, what's next for you? There's a way you're performing this. Uh, next, uh, I'll be in Cape Town, uh, Cape Town, and then I should be in East London, and then after that, all the other gigs in the world will be here. So, where can people get you on social media? On social media, on Twitter, you can catch me at DJ Banks, DJ Banks, not B A N G S. Facebook banks, the same thing. Uh, that's pretty much what you can get you on. And then booking details, banks, DJ, and you know the company. Yeah, all mixes Yeah, I got on SoundCloud. But the thing is, uh, I stop using to SoundCloud. Yeah. I'm more on, uh, I've been uh, dropping my mixes on uh, Miss Cosmo Show, the Stir Up. And then that's where I've been, I guess, every once or twice a month. You catch my mix today. Definitely, there's the links after those, right? You catch my mix and stuff. Okay, cool. Big shout out to the dope set. Shout yeah, out to the dope set. You know, you've you, you, you got me a couple of times for you. Yeah. So, you know, we're definitely going to see you again. Definitely. Big shout out to the dope set. Big shout out to the dope set. LOTV, so you know, we're with the gentlemen, you know, from House Natives. I'm just going to allow them to introduce themselves. We want government names. Government wow. names. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. The one wants birth certificate. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, my name is Libo Mayalo. Uh, basically, I'm from Gramstown. I'm, I'm a native. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a native to Gramstown as well. Um, I'm part of House Natives. Um, yeah. Basically, uh, yeah. That's okay. And. Yeah, yeah, my name is Wolingwe. Tomokara. Yeah. Um, Tom. Named after Josiwa Tomokara, the yeah. politician. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if people know that. Yeah. I'm also part of House Natives yeah. with Libo, uh, Eastern Cape East. Yeah. I grew up in PE, but then I uh, was born elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's cool. So, you guys played quite a, quite a dope set, you know. You guys are House Natives. Oh, so quite, was, quite, quite. 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 Ah, quite. Like, you could see the crowd doing this, you know, the people people are out here, you yeah. know, the, the facial expressions. You know what? I think let me ask that question. Mm. House music in South Africa is famous for, you know, the dance moves. Yeah. Right? But I, I, I'm from Zimbabwe, you know, so you need to answer this question for me. It's facial expressions when people are dancing, where do they come from? You know that serious face that people have it, when they're in the, mood, in the group? Okay, can I, I, I think it comes from self-confidence yeah. because if you concentrate on my face, right? Yeah. You can't really actually focus on everything at the same time. If you look at my face, yeah. if you're looking at my face, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 so, everybody's trying to capture the attention and if you've got self-confidence, it actually sometimes looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah. You know, I mean... 
Okay. Um, yeah. I, I, also, I, I, also, I also agree with him, you know, the face says a lot about what you're doing. Yeah. If the face is not convincing, yeah. then no one's gonna really look at what you're doing, you know? So. Okay. Okay. I, I have to admit that was very, very profound answers. Yeah. Like I did not expect that. that was very, <laughs> those are very profound. Given the time of day it is, yeah. you know, yeah. what event we're at, etc. You know, it, it, very profound answers. Anyway, so how how has been the night? How was the set? How do you feel like the crowd? Are they, are they feeling you guys? Do you feel like you guys did justice tonight? I feel, I feel personally, I feel we, we did justice tonight. Yeah. Judging from the Twitter, the Twitter, the, well, judging from the tweets, yeah. because every five minutes I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Libo, check this shit out. You know? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but no, just check this out. <laughs> I like Libo, check this out. You know? Yeah. It's, it's been crazy. That's why I love Graham Star. Yeah. Because it, it gets crazy now. Uh, I, feel, I, like I actually it. feel the set was actually well received, you know, yeah. because I feel like people were actually hungry for a, a house set which was a bit different from what they usually get in Grand Yeah. Um, but more than that, I feel like we did justice tonight. I feel like we, we came out, we did our part, and I, I, I hope the people are happy. Um, but yeah. Okay. Before we end, I've got you know just one or two questions, and the first one has to do with you know the Eastern Cape focus. Like, do you guys feel like you've touched the whole of the Eastern Cape, or are there still like places you still want to conquer in the Eastern Cape? Well, to me personally, yeah, I feel like we've touched all the most urban places in yeah. the Eastern Cape, you know. Yeah. But then there's still like the more rural places that we'd like to go that I think would reach out. In good time, you know. Yeah. That's 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 what I feel. Like, personally. I don't know. About yeah, for me, for me, I feel like um, as house natives, we have reached the urban, urban youth market. Yeah. Um, we've we've captured that target market, but we still need to focus on getting into the rural areas and getting into back as well yeah. because they are hearing about us, but. Um, we haven't really gone in and shown them what yeah. House Natives really is. Yeah. So basically, they only know about House Natives from what they see on Facebook and yeah. pictures. They don't know yeah. what House Natives really about, yeah. or, uh, how good our sets are, or, or, or how bad our sets are, or whatever. Yeah. But um, we still need to, 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 to take actually to Grams down here in the Kasi. Yeah. And uh, places like Mutata, I feel like we need to go there. And even Jeffrey's Bay, yeah. you know. Um, you know, there's, there's still those kind of places that we still haven't conquered yet. Okay. But um, I feel like people do know about us here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so like, can I, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. If, if, if I could also add, I feel like people don't don't know how to differentiate between like house natives, the DJs, and house natives, the event organizers. Okay. So people think that we only do we do only do events. Yeah. And some people also think that we only DJs. Yeah. So. It, it gets confusing it gets to some people, yeah, you know, because I've, I've, we've, we've had inboxes and emails and stuff like that because people want us to do an, a certain event mm. or people want us to just market, we also do marketing oh, okay. as well. We just so that's like an stuff. entire organization. Yeah. Okay. Entertainment yeah. concern. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the heavy stuff out of the way. Like, I had to ask at least one yeah. you know, <laughs> serious, pertinent question. But, uh, you know, last question. You know, you guys are, you know, you, you hit the decks of both of you. How do you guys, you know, chemistry, you know, when you're playing FIFA, there's that thing called team chemistry. That stuff doesn't just happen out of nowhere, you know. So, how do you guys, you know, because you have to feed off each other's energy, what song yeah. is gonna come up yeah. now, etc. So how do you guys, you know, well, do if, that? If, if, if I'd have to answer that, yeah? Yeah. I, I'd say it's just repetition. They say repetition is the is the father of um of learning. Yeah. You know? So just going through the same thing all all over again, you know? even though it's not the same songs, yeah. but then we get to read each other, you know? Yeah. So repetition is the father of learning. Yeah. yeah. So that's how we actually get to read each other. But then we don't we don't get it right all the, the time, time. You know? <laughs> because we don't plan it. Yeah. You know, so it's just on point. Like every time we just on impulse. Yeah. That's, that's that's how we do our. our Was our, it like that from the start? No. No. We had to learn it you know? from the, from from the start. It started with us having having listening sessions before gigs. Yeah. We would chill. We share new music. You know. I'm like, I found this track on the net, or I yeah. bought this on iTunes or whatnot. Listen to it, what do you think? 
I feel this song will go nice with so and so. Um, and so and so, such and such a song. Um, basically, what we used to do is do one on one battles of virtual DJ. We put in the song, I put in the song, we put in the song, I put in the song. Put in the song. Yeah. Then basically, it became something that we could perfect live. Then that's where the duo came about. Um, because basically, it was like he used to play three minutes, I played three minutes. So we were like, no, we can do this together, you know? Yeah. Because as much as we, we play together, the genres of music aren't generally the same. So with him playing his genre of music and me playing mine, it's it's house, but it's a different type of house. Yeah. It keeps a balance and it keep, it makes it different. Yeah. Okay. That's what that's what I feel makes house natives distinct. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. because I play a bit more commercial. He's more in touch with soulful instrumentals and local DJs. When it's mixed together, it actually sounds like a, a different kind of fusion. Mm -hmm. So that's what so kind of makes it different yeah. for us. So there's an entire sort of like a philosophy around it. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I like that. It's quite deep. Last question. Um, where can people, you know, find you guys on social media and where to next as and where is uh, House Meters gonna be performing next? Ah, okay, I'll answer the social media and then the next. Yeah. Okay, we uh, we are on we're on Twitter at House Natives and Instagram at House Natives. Uh, House Natives the page on Facebook, you can like us there. Um, individually, you can, you can get Libo, Libo Native Mayalo on Facebook, yeah. and you can get Woli Woli Native Kong on Facebook as well. Yeah. Um, bookings, bookings. You can just you can call you can, you can call us right. We've got we've got our, our, our we've got our cell phone numbers, but it's not our personal numbers. It, it, it goes through to someone else. Yeah. Um, you can DM us. You can DM us on, on Twitter. You can send a private message on Instagram, and you can send a private message on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. But if you can go on our on, on our Twitter account, you, you can find us. You can find cell phone numbers to actually call. It's not really our cell phone numbers, but just for bookings. You know? okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically tomorrow we're playing, well actually today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it becomes, yeah. It becomes uh, a time of day. Yeah, yeah, tonight yeah, so. the whole thing is a rock party um, yeah. at Fines. Yeah. So you can catch us tonight out of Fines. Um, yeah. It's going to be, uh, wow. <laughs> it's going to be insane. <laughs> yeah. Already we're struggling with table bookings and yeah. the tables are fully booked. Yeah. Uh, we don't know how we're going to handle that one. But after that we're going to be at Winter Warm Up on the 27th of June. Then out in Joburg. Oh, but there's yeah, we'll spreading be, that Easter cake. Yeah, message. you know there'll be something. There, there's gonna be a little twist to it, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be yet to share that. Uh, Details coming soon. Okay, okay. Lush. Big thank you to the gentlemen of uh, House Natives. You know, you guys rocked it. Fine, I, 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 fine. Now I'm saying it. You guys rocked it. This, this quiet thing that I did at the start. You know, that's just. You know, yeah. as guys, you have to be, you know, a G. No, I understand. No, you guys rocked it. You guys rocked it. So, yeah. Thank you so much, LOTV. LOTV? Yeah. <laughs>
in the music. <laughs> if you don't know the song, it's okay because yeah. the beat is so nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I love the Open House. Yeah. And uh, last thing, perhaps, we can um, even follow you. Nah, I don't have Twitter anymore. Oh. I have nothing. But you guys, like, these guys didn't pay me or anything. But Night Cruise is like a proper, proper, proper project. And if you guys keep it alive, I think it should, like, be around, like, Tribal. That is dope. So keep supporting these guys. They did a dope, dope, dope job today. And yeah. That's yeah. It. So you heard it. Let's smash. No way. So we're here with, uh, you know, the organizers of, you know, Night Cruise itself. It's been about a week or two since, you know, the actual event happened, you know, so we just thought, you know, the usual thing, we usually, you know, talk to them before, you know, this time we decided to talk to them after, you know, so I'm sitting here with, uh, you know, DJ Aries, you know, and Black Deep, you know, and, uh, you know, just to get some, you know, afterthoughts, you know, about, you know, the event itself and all that. And I'm going to start off, you know, I'd, I'm not sure which one of you is brave enough to answer this question but i think the people out there want to know why was it on a friday <laughs> because I, you know there's been that tradition that people come from night groups on a saturday yeah they come out at whatever time they you know deem is decent mm -hmm. they go sit down for a few hours go for brunch at 10 and then they knock out for the rest of the day <laughs> into swat week this time you guys gave us an entire day. <laughs> Didn't know what to do with this day. <laughs> so talk to us about that decision. Oh man, uh, it was really a. Um, it was kind of. Yeah, the Niagara's Day actually. <laughs> I have a confession. It it the idea came to me last year in October that we wanted to move uh, the project to a Friday night. Yeah. Um, the main reason being that it always felt like an afterthought. For me, it always felt like, you know, it's the, the last Friday of lectures for all the students, and then the big parties on a Saturday. So Friday, then it always made it seem like a secondary thing yeah. to the end of the semester. Yeah. So moving it to Friday was like, it becomes the mock <coughs> that the last day when I step out of my last lecture, there's yeah. one thing I'm doing tonight, it's going to night groups, okay. you know. And then also, we also had like people who start writing exams early in Swat Week, who used to complain a lot about Saturday, yeah. you know, that they can't make it because, oh, oh, you know, some people were starting on Monday and they're like, yo, I can't be hanging on a Sunday or I'm going to be so exhausted or mm -hmm. anything like that. So it kind of worked out for especially Sydney postgraduate students as well, who most have a lot of submissions and work to do in all week, that um, Friday night was kind of necessary to have that extra day where you could actually sleep the whole of Saturday and then you know Sunday you started to like get your world back together again okay. kind of thing. Last year I was saying I made a blunder last year we actually had night cruise a week before the last yeah. weekend of lectures yeah. because I made a mistake while designing the poster <laughs> and I only realized two weeks <laughs> into the marketing that wait <laughs> That's not the last week of term, man. That's the weekend before the last week yeah. of term. Yeah. You know, it worked out regardless. So then, when I thought about us doing it on Friday, I was like, look, if people could make it on the weekend before the last weekend, they can definitely do make it Friday a day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So generally, on the whole, how did you guys feel about the night? Did the experiment work? Did Did Friday work? Um, I think it worked out yeah. uh, pretty much nicely. Uh, we were looking at the numbers, comparing the numbers of the people that were actually at the event, yeah. um, the ticket sales and how they actually went. I mean, um, VIP was sold out by Tuesday um, of the week of the event and then <clears throat> on the night of the event, all the tickets were pretty much sold out basically. Yeah. So you couldn't find, so people had to pay at the door, which meant that we had, were able to meet um, our demands that we wanted um, or were looking forward to meet. Yeah. Um, so pretty much it was a success, um, you know, looking at the numbers and how everything turned out. Okay. And your particular sets, because you guys are DJs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, were people feeling the music? Were they, were they there? Or were you more concerned about, are they enjoying the party? Yeah. Man, I think we, uh, you know, I'm always more concerned about how people actually enjoying the party, you know, the administration of the party. You know, a lot of things happen, man. 
people lose their tickets but they've paid and they're trying to get in somebody wants to upgrade to vip yeah. or you know a whole lot of crazy things happen on the night that i you know i'd rather be focused on than than the music and rather let the people we've booked you know to do the gigs do the gigs i can't remember the last night we actually <laughs> yeah. i think I, this year i played at, in the vip section at like four in the morning but i think that was my first night group set in the last two years I have never been on stage performing in Agros. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, I've actually never really had an opportunity to perform at night groups. Um, there's always something that comes up last minute yeah. um, that needs to be taken care of. I remember, for example, last year, as I was going to my set at 4 o'clock, you know, there are people um, that are passing out and all of that. So, you know, I kind of like have to, you know, help the bouncers out and all of that. So I end up not having the time to play. Um, but I always prepare fire set <laughs> that I listen yeah, to. It's always in the back pocket. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, feel feel it. I think, yeah. you know, last thing, you know, going forward, you know, because you guys have done, you know, quite a bit, you know, this year. Maybe not necessarily just as night groups, but, you know, you've been involved in day mares and things like that. So, what, what else are we looking forward to in terms of events this year and, you know, the one at the end of the year? <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a, a bit of a turnaround year for us. I think yeah. We've seen ourselves taking a more uh, promoter administrative role to a lot of people's events, a lot of societies' events. You know, a lot of people don't never get to know about it, but we like the brains behind most of those ideas. And hence, we always say night groups is sort of a combination of all these little things you've experienced throughout the year because actually. Those were sort of us just testing some ideas in other people's bodies to see yeah. <laughs> if when night groups comes about, we can, <laughs> we can do it properly. So, I mean, uh, we've had a really successful year and a good partnership with Prime, obviously, for us this year as well. We've done a lot of national acts, which is a big thing that I think people can gather as the direction we've taken the club, Prime, and also our involvement has been moving towards more having a stronger hip-hop movement in the nightlife and more live performances and that sort of thing. And with night groups as well, that was the switch up. It was the first night groups I think in, man, I think in four or five years that yeah. we went for like a big national act kind of thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, the last time we did national acts was back when Kent and C Live came to Grahamstown and it was a couple of years, like four or five years ago, I don't know, man. But again, we didn't want to go over the top and go for like an extremely massive artist. Because yeah. then it's going to look like you went there because of that massive artist. But at this point in time, we sort of picked an upcoming artist who we felt <coughs> had a great potential on stage, which I think it did pretty well. And so it then still gave people that momentum that they went there for night groups. But they also got to experience, you know, a new uh, DJ on the lineup, Banks. They also got to experience Kid X, you know, which is really cool because then a week later after he performs on stage, he goes and drops the seventh video officially, yeah, which is quite and he goes much, yeah. viral, then people are like, oh wait, we heard this at Night Girls the other night, you know, so that was kind of the thing that we were targeting, because they were also looking at that sort of stuff, as where is his career going, and this is Night Girls turning point, and we're going back again to doing national artists at Night Girls mm. on a bigger scale, so looking forward in October, we're definitely going bigger than KidX, like it's already pretty much done, <laughs> you know, the date is set, the artist is set, mm. we're just waiting for when we're gonna let people know <laughs> you know just get your money ready you know it's gonna be 50 bucks we sold ticket it's gonna be 200 rand for vip this time not 150 oh, and yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna make any more vip tickets like this <laughs> no there's not gonna be anything like that you know what i mean so that's definitely the next night cruise it's 23rd of october and we're gonna bigger artist closing i mean it's october it's always bigger than me yeah. So it's definitely way bigger than what we did uh, in May. Uh, next up for us is National Arts Festival. Okay, cool. So yes, uh, you know, that was us. You know, that was LOTV's coverage of, uh, you know, Night Groups. We spoke to all the DJs and uh, we spoke to the organizers, spoke to KidX, spoke to Banks. We spoke to, you know, um, Curtis B, Curtis B, yeah. Snash, House Natives. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was good. It was a good night. So yeah, make sure you, you look out for all the rest of the events. 
they've already told you how much the next one is going to be so start budgeting now <laughs> start budgeting now <laughs> like spend and uh, spend and save wisely so yes you can uh, check them out uh, twitter facebook they've got a heavy presence there. <laughs> you, you, you won't miss them you won't miss them but yes that was my groups thank you Hi, hi, hi! This is the Miss Jones, and you are currently watching Hello TV. Yo, what up, Grand Star? What up, Mr. K? This is DJ Banks, and you're on Hello TV. Check it out. Hey, yo, this is Wally Native, and your boy Lee Native. Together with House Natives. And you're watching Hello TV. It is what it is, yo. Yo, what up? It's Nash at Night Cruise having the dopest time, and you're watching Hello TV. Yo, what's good? You already know it. This is your boy Kilex, and you're watching Hello.